Okay, so AMC Squad is not bad. But I don't think it's my cup of tea. I think this recommending this to a random person. Let's say you like Duke. I like Duke Nukem. I like Duke Nukem. I like Blood. I even like that other one, Shadow Warrior. I like him. I played them for fun. I recently read it all of Blood. You want to know what I like about AMC? Sometimes. I like it sometimes. This is a... Uh, this is... Sonic OC do not steal the wet dream. We got custom assets, we got custom characters, we got custom guns, custom features. We got all the shit. We got a custom storyline. We got cool level design. But I don't like what it does one bit. It's, um... It has a little too much game design ego in a bad way. And we can tell what that is. Okay, I need to reset because guess what? I, I literally just copied... I copied my whole folder, because I think you could only have one save file or something. It's really awkward. So, fun fact. You know how the introduction showed us characters? Uh, Snowfall, that Miko guy? No, not Miko. Miko's in this. Jeffrey is. Mike. Stone Malone. Engineer guy with the fancy helmet. He doesn't show up yet. That assassin lady? She's not even in episode 3. She's in 4. She's not even in this yet. I love how it's like, hey, please do the please episode first. Okay, thanks. I'm going to talk about this. And I'm going to talk about it in the most impolite tone I can muster. This game's difficulty system fucking sucks. So when I played Halo, all right, I'm playing Halo, right? I'm like, I'm like smooth playing. Halo's easy mode is too easy. Halo's normal mode has two awkward difficulty spikes. I would have preferred that there's a medium one in between, and that will be normal, and that normal goes away, because I think hard mode's already hard enough. I've played some heroic, and I'm like, Arr! but Halo does not need normal mode to be what it is. It's a little too up, but let's talk about all this. Oh, boy. What is even the difference here? Oh. I didn't even notice there was an Armageddon one. Did I unlock that by completing episode one? Probably. Okay, here we go. Everything here is bullshit. Full enemy resistances. There are a bunch of enemies that will take zero damage from your attacks. There's a bunch of enemies that will take zero damage from any attack. You might not even get the gun to kill them. You're fucked. That's the only way to put it. The game says, here's a stiffy. Stuck it in your ass. That's how it goes. I know that's very harsh. I know I normally say that when I'm angry after I lost a couple of times and I'm like a big grumpy baby. This game has ghosts and they're only vulnerable to silver or energy weapons. If you don't bring one with you, you're screwed. It gives you a pre god module and you can show you know you're going to be fighting and will you just boop 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 boop. No. Get out of here. There is literally a level where you can get screwed by this. Ugh. Fatigue from excessive use. Fun fact, in the first and second chapter, there's a bunch of levels where you're forced to use certain characters and that system just doesn't make any sense. If you're gonna give me certain characters, force me to use them, why make a fatigue system? I can only screw myself over. The, the two damaging I don't have an opinion about. The enemies are tough enough as it is. So, honestly, I wouldn't recommend this at all. I, I don't recommend this for people who are familiar with Duke. If you can play Duke on a first playthrough and not get frustrated, play normal. If you're like me and the first playthrough of Duke feels a little bullshit, feels a little, uh, feels a little fast and loose, feels a little too harsh, don't. 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 I'm going to wave my hands again. Do not. Do not. Oh, you've no idea how bad it is. For some reason, I thought this was like 50%... Oh, lower enemy count. Really? You're going to do that? Oh, fuck. Now that makes it harder. Fine. I will... I will... I will swallow this hole. <gasps> I'm going to vomit. You're going to like it. Oh, I'm already regretting this. I played episode one twice. And I'm still angry. That's not good. Isn't that how Duke went? Kind of. But do you think you're ready? It's a lot to handle. I'm not sure you're up to the task. It's a big position to fill, especially in light of the losses you and your defense team have taken. If you accept, you'll have access to all our most advanced technology. We'll allow access to our equipment, and you'll have our full support in any operation. You're right. It is a big position. I already have a man on the block. His name's James. He survived hell. I've given him the location. 
to venerate the incredibly skilled individuals who can also help. He'll find them and we'll form a group who can fill the nook and woods. We are up to the task. We can keep Earth safe. You can call us. Welcome to the ANC base. I am Epsilon. Let's take a look around. This is the main base. This is where all the magic happens. You can access it via the lobby. Mission Command. This is where you start missions and handle overworld tasks. Research. This is where you improve the AMC squad's capabilities. Use the research terminals to get started. Equipment. Use the terminal to assign a loadout to each character. Enemy you can also spotted. talk to Forge to upgrade some weapons using polygons. These can be gained by gathering data with your PDU scanner. Enemy also sighted. check out the shooting range. You can test what weapons are effective against what here by shooting different targets. You can restock all your weapons to test them Enemy with the free machine. You can check out the evidence room here to reread documents we find on the field. You can also head into the briefing room to choose a different agent to use. Each agent has their own room. By default, you appear in their room when choosing them. You can also right-click instead to appear straight in the underground base to save time. You can also talk to Jean at the front desk to do an actual training course. You'll be taught some basics in your first mission anyway, but it never hurts to be extra prepared. When you are done exploring, head to Mission Command to get used to the terminal. The first mission for the AMC squad is located in America. Good luck. Alright. Alright. Okay, so... Okay. I need to point out... I need to point this out, right? Like, you need to know this. You need to understand this. You need to understand this. So, this guy, body armored enemy, half damage, something like that. So, on uh, on other difficulties, wait, it's body armored. His head is supposed to take more. Whatever. He's supposed to take none. He takes none. Normal guy. Armored guy. Oh, you're screwed. Spiritual guy. Oh, you're extra screwed. Weapons of reloads, blah, 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 blah. Shotguns suck. They take always, always take forever to reload. Ugh. But that's no reason. Which which one's one of these guns is? By the way, the game doesn't tell you. You kind of have to memorize which weapons are armor-piercing. Because no one's going to tell you. Items, keys, may maybe you can... T nope. No, you're screwed. Game does not tell you. Game doesn't feel like telling you. You have to learn it from the top of your head and it's dumb. Does have damage. Does not work. Does have damage. Does not work. Ain't that just great? I think this will work, because it's like a... Yeah, it's a cool... Does count as an energy weapon, though. I wouldn't have guessed. How would I know? It looks like a freaking sniper! Extra damage to armor. Now that's nice. You have to learn it from the top of your head, because the game, again, is not going to tell you. There's no way to know that! Oh, but it gets way better the further we go. I have no gun now, because I'm out of out of nowhere. Anyway, this guy's like... Look at those fun upgrades! We can scan things. We can look at things and go, hmm, what's that? Hmm, what's that? Hmm. There's not much to see right now. This is Mission Command. This is where all our cool chibis will go. I am not going for the chibis on this run. Go screw yourself. 
This game is already trying my patience as it is, and going for a straight run through is probably the only way I can keep myself somewhat sane. This is where things start to appear. Right now, we can research Being nothing. At your disposal. We also have no money. So we're gonna bother with that later. We're poor, dumb bastards. We have no chance. This game is dark. Welcome to Duke. This is just how the build engine looks. Screw you, that's what. Unlike in, uh... Alien Annihilation... Army Ca which Whichever one it is. Oh, that's the tickety boo. He just peed through the freaking door. What a hero. That actually unlocks a research project. Isn't that just hilarious? It is. It's actually pretty cute. There's another one for acupuncture, but we can't use that until we get the dojo again. The dojo is in, like, episode two. Oh, screw it. So, oh, we'll get to it when we get to that. It'll all come up naturally, don't worry. Who is this guy? I don't know, heavy hitters, huh? I couldn't care less. What a trooper. Good morning. Happy to be here. Well, I'm happy to be here. I'll be happier when I get to leave. It does have this, however. What's the button again? Oh, I can't, I can't. No, I can't do it. I don't know if I can. I, I have a quick kick, kick button, right? Anyway, pretty much every dude has the same loadout, effectively. Merlin is one of the unique exceptions, in that his entire loadout is based around... I mean, he's a guy with a sword. What do you want? Up here is the basic training course. We'll be doing that in a minute. There's only one more thing worth looking at out here. Oh, that's the button. I forgot. It's the... The clickety click. A lot of voxels. Look at this. That's a lot of voxels. Oh, yeah, the weapons dictate your armor, your, your stamina consumption. It's dumb. It's weird. I get why. I don't like it. It just makes things a little bit more confusing. Here's an arms dealer. He basically gives you alternative weapons, which have... I don't know. Merlin gets, like, a cool axe that's pretty neat. You can find weapons in levels, too. You can find research projects in level 2. You can find polymers in levels 2. You can find bonus cash in levels 2. Levels can contain whatever the hell they feel like. Oh, God. Uh, we haven't even gotten to the rescue gun yet. Have, mm. Let's do the training course and leave it at that for today. I got my little fists. Look at this. This could be in Duke 3D. You can scan switches most of the time. Welcome to the basic training course. This course will show you the basics of working in the AMC squad. It covers movement, equipment use, basic weapons training, and screens such as these that contain information. Remember, if you need a hand props, you can use it. That's actually really nice. Uh, you want to watch that prompt if enemies ever decide to put a gun to your head. I'm not kidding. Oh, no, I have to... Yeah! You can also let's grab. We'll get to that. <sighs> Aaron, this game is bullshit. As in, it runs out a little too fast for my tastes. But at least we have an indicator, small and insignificant, off to the side as it is. That's a health thing, by the way. We can move barrels. There are ladders. Ladders have an incredibly nice feature known as... Whoops, this sucks in most games. You can also slide down some ladders. Isn't that just great? I can lean! I need to hold down use and then turn left. So, in case you're smart, you don't use this. You don't use tan controls. So you have to use the use key, which is the E, and then I have to push left or right to lean. Useful. It's one of those things I don't use that I should probably use more often. You can't shoot, but it's a very nice nicety to have. Screw it, though. Like, why is this here? Why is it not bound to left and right or like a mouse something slightly easier or more accessible? Sprinting gives you a great burst of speed. The size of the weapon you're holding affects my stamina. Oh. Yeah, you can dodge roll. I don't know why. I... It... Does it say that it does anything? I guess it's just for, just a burst of speed, but in, like, sideways directions and with limited... There you go. I can kick over walls to reach greater heights. This move is mostly useless. Because this... Oh, I don't want to do it now. I know you can ledge grab. It just doesn't want to do it today. This is a slide. There are two ways to use one of these. If one of these, uh... We can jump off ourselves. 
we can drop off. Or we can let nature take its course. I don't think that ever gets used to kick someone in the chest. Because enemies move around once you alert them, so there's not much you can do unless you send them still ambush and like phasing away or something. If you hold the, the, the PDA key, it'll automatically swap to the scan function. If you see blood or switches, scan them. You'll get some polymers for it. Remember how in uh, Armageddon I got super frustrated at that switch key? I think I never uploaded that version. But yeah, now we just get this instead of a, 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 a night vision. Temporary weapons can be used. You're never going to use temporary weapons because this game made a fatal mistake that I honestly thought we fixed by this point in the gamer community. In, in the gamer consciousness. Impressive. Very have any alt fire? We don't have any alt fire. Okay. So we can swap by using the button again. Or by using X. This system sucks. It's awful and it gets in the way more than it ever does. I hate it. Oh, by the way, it's 9 to go back to regular. Great. Luckily, we have a hit indicator. It tells us when we hit someone. Look what someone just left lying here. Now, the game is nice enough to actually tell you that you're fucking up. Unfortunately, reloading also makes you drop the weapon. Now, that's fine, right? That's fine, right? It's not fine with most of your actual weapons or anything that needs to reload. We can command people. They heal when they're standing still. They're not bad. They're actually pretty good allies, and they'll do their job pretty well. They get stuck on things, but, you know, as we expected. Uh, which button? It's Z. We can command our allies. Wait here for a sec. Now he's blue. I don't use this very much. Follow me. And I said to, to, to wait. So what happens if we uh, tell him to... I even... He has a little icon for that. Nice. I should probably use, learn to use Man, this. I'd hate to be your dry cleaner. I already says that. You don't need the top button for that, really. More. You know, I would have preferred that the more shows up faster. Thanks. Well, he's right there, dude. Sometimes, the game has random interactables like this box. They glow. They're full of goodies. That's a health amulet. It permanently increases your health and gives you 20 extra. Ain't that just nice? This is where... Oh. That wasn't a right-click. I should probably show you people's rooms, should I? Shouldn't I? Why is this foot so low? Let's go check out some rooms. Mölein von Ostrom. If that's Winter's Dyke, I'm gonna be pissed. Nice lag, though. Why does he want a whole riddled carpet? I will never know. That's a super shield. He uses that as to upgrade his shield for a level. That's His shield is not his armor, by the way. It's actually a different thing, and it's kind of neat. Rusty. Rusty's weird. Look, they even respited it. It's nice, isn't it? Look at all this nice stuff. Nice. I don't know if that's a bed, or if he just sits on that. I don't even know if he has to sleep. I think you can let's grab, right? The game rewards you for exploration. In this case... <sighs> this game's biggest mistake. You can use this phone over the course of the game, and it gives you all kinds of cool conversations! The Oblivion Wars, by the way, the one that Zastra mentioned, uh, that is actually just uh, the the war that happened with Duke. Simple as that. And you have to press zero. Why? Isn't it just one? I'm I, I like, I can easily reach one to five from my base position. Maybe six. Zero is all the way over here. 
And I'm not using the arrow keys to aim, sirs. We're, we, we, we've moved past that as a society. Oh. Is that a light switch or does this open a cool closet somewhere? Oh, anyway, computer's full of cool stuff. We got Agent Snort. Battle level A+. Plus. Medium paranormal. He's just some dude. Like, it, it, they're just some people. He's got an A. High wire. He does not look like that in episode two. I think he gets like a whole body armor get up and everything. Like he doesn't even, he hasn't even technically joined us yet. Like we do a whole mission where we're supposed to have him join us or something. He's not paranormal. We don't know where he's from and we don't know how, he's, he's all right. Sang is not bad, but I don't like how he gets used. His paranormal levels is through the roof. Who knew that a wizard would register as extremely paranormal? Rusty, he might be a ghost with all that going on. I like that they say operating from Europe, but you find him on Mars. He's also Dutch. Because for some reason, Dutch people just show up all over the place in game communities. I don't know what the hell the deal is with that. He's not paranormal, but he's a jackass. When you select him, he puts away a porn mag. Ain't that something. Mikko Sant. He's from Finland. This guy could be freaking Belmore with what he's got going on. He's a cyborg. Jesus. Look at him. Earth, the final frontier. Oh yeah, space travel is a thing. Game just casually drops that. Doesn't make too much of a major. You can just go to other planets if you want to. Anyway, there they are. I don't care. Just, just take a look. Ally info. Epsilon. It's a computer. It's not paranormal because it's a computer. Jay met Epsilon. <laughs> oh. Epsilon, not Absalom. Time-spanning plot. Like I said, this is a this is an OC's wet dream with how much effort went into this. And it looks so good! A+, plus, but you will not join. Who's this? I don't know. It's, it's a separation, I think. Anyway, we got Merlin's brother, if we ever need one. MS Industries, which is, uh, you know, I love that the initials are his name, which implies that he started the whole company or rebranded at some point. The Fossa people, aka where this guy's from. Vladimir. I think he's our... I don't know. No, no, it's another guy. He's a different name. Armitage. Extremely high. It's almost like people who can do magic gets really funky. Statistics. Nothing to mention. That's the actual time, by the way. Thanks, video game. Now I can't hide that I'm recording this in the morning. Button. I can go outside. Hey, it's Katit! Wow, they actually took off. There's the industries building. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. That's a switch. I can scan it for four polymers. It's dumb. Oh, yeah, the lo <sighs> We'll do that in a bit. Nice and chilly. Highwire, a.k.a. the guy who, best as I can tell, hasn't technically joined yet. There's a mission where he joins or you help him or something. I don't get it. Man, this that sucks. Why does he have that? Oh, I can call him from here too. Cool. I think you can use. No, 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 no. But you can kick. For some reason, kicking ends conversations. It's great. I would like to end this conversation by just booting. Thank you. Oh, there's something here. The, pro the Protector Drone Purges of Russia by Vitaly Isaac Sidorov. The conflict in America with the strange alien nation that attacked recently has detailed in, has been detailed in unceasing light. News stories, films, and even fiction have been made about this war. Even though the injuries it inflicted have not yet begun to heal. However, America's not the only... Yeah, I like this. Renault and Oblivion, the Oblivion portals opened up? They tried to pull that shit in the Black Marshes where the Argonians hung out and they got their asses freaking kicked. It's hilarious. You can read this as much as you want. Excuse me, this guy gets blinds? <gasps> Look at this. Look at all this effort they put in. I could even kill myself if I wanted to. Not a very productive way to spend your day, but look at this. Someone went to the effort to put this all in. Oh, it's a computer. Look at this. Oh man, that looks way better than... Mm, I like that one. How do we turn on the lights in here? Like this? 
That's not the lights over there. I want the lights over here. Or is it just a skylight? Why is it cold inside? Do the skylights close? I hope they do. Seems like a privacy concern. That it? I think that's the it. No! We can't access Jeffrey's place because Jeffrey's place is in a dumb place. He lives in the special super bunker or something. He lives in the vents. We can't access that easily. And Zarkston, I think, teleports over. Like, you need to start with him to get to his place. Yeah, well, this is where Miko lives. He has a water tank where he sits in, probably chilling, relaxing all cool while he was shooting some b-ball lots out of the school. I wonder if a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in his neighborhood. I imagine his mom didn't get into one fight and scare her. You know how it goes. Anyway, he has access to all the cameras. The cameras can move! Technology! That's a lot of cameras you have access to. Relaxing all cool and I'll shoot some b-ball at the school. Alright. Alright, let's do our first mission. I don't wanna I don't wanna